And moving on to your health, truly, and, and beauty care products as well. Your skin is your largest organ, and it's very absorbent. Because of that, that's why it's important to watch what we put in our skin just as much as it is to watch what we put in our bodies. Stephanie Green with Bubble and Be Organic joins us with some interesting facts about understanding what's in your personal care products and also taking a chance on organic personal care products as well. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks this is a great on. concept. I know it's very hot right now. First, tell us some products are listed as organic, but they actually only contain, you say, 50 to 70% mm -hmm. organic materials. Why is that not acceptable? Because you can still have 50% organic ingredients and still have any of the chemicals that you need to look out for, you can still have bad chemicals in it, even if it says organic on the label or has a few organic ingredients. And some of these harmful chemicals that you mentioned are in everyday products, and we don't even True. realize that we're putting them on our skin. Let's walk through mm -hmm. some of these basic everyday products and give us a clue as to what's really in there. First, we're starting with a basic scrub, right? Yes, these are some uh, body scrubs, and the first ingredient that we'll talk about is synthetic fragrance. Now, synthetic fragrance uh, contains phthalates that can actually interfere with your body's hormones because they act like estrogen in the body. So when you're looking at a body scrub or any other product, you want to stay away from synthetic fragrances and find products that are made with essential oils. So this is our product right here. It's made with uh, organic essential oils. Mm -hmm. And that happens to be a lemon one with a lemon essential and you're oil. you're going to get the same yummy smell. And you're still going to get a great smell there. Yeah. Without the harmful chemicals. Mm -hmm. You mentioned it affecting your hormones. I, that's definitely an internal thing. I, are a lot of yes. people surprised to learn what you put on the outside of your skin affects yes. the inside of your body? And some of the chemicals, if you ate the chemical, it wouldn't have that effect. But going on your skin, a lot of the chemicals are estrogen mimickers. Um, just like the synthetic uh, colors mm -hmm. as well. Um, these are synthetic colors like FDNC colors, late colors. You'll see them on the label like that. Um, what we use in our products are uh, vegetable based and clays to color our products. Like our soaps are uh, colored with uh, green clay mm -hmm. and with orange essential oil. And what, how does the coloring affect? What's so negative about that? Well, a lot of the colorings are actual carcinogens, known carcinogens. And there's no governing body that says, no, you can't use that color. So they're going into the products and mm -hmm. people really aren't mm -hmm. realizing it. So you can still have the fun color there. Yes, you can still have the fun color. But just a lot more healthier for yes. you. Here we have lotions. Talk us through what lotions. are the dangers here. One chemical to look for is parabens. It is also an estrogen mimicker. Um, we have a product that has no parabens because uh, our product has no water and parabens are preservatives that they have to put into these water-based lotions mm -hmm. and so in our product we just have a lotion stick okay first of all I think this is just a genius idea <laughs> a lotion in a yeah. stick you can just target it on your elbows or your knees or any dry mm -hmm. area that you it's have it's great for your hands and it doesn't wash off every time that you use it just like a lotion in a bottle would where you wash your hands and every time you have to reapply it so it's a lot more healing okay great and no parabens and no parabens paraben free lotion yes. stick I love that yes okay, next we have body washes. Everyone has one of these in their showers. What's harmful about it? One product to look out for is propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is what they call a penetration enhancer, meaning that it's going to break down your skin's uh, defensive barrier and go right into your bloodstream. So it's going to take all of the estrogen mimickers that are in the product and take it right into your bloodstream. So propylene glycol is something to avoid. It's a frightening thought it when is. you think of a product, again, that you're putting on the outside of your body going into your bloodstream, into your bloodstream. directly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the alternative right here, the tell us what's this different. This is our alternative. It's a completely chemical-free uh, shower gel. There's no detergents, no propylene glycol. Um, it's actually just made with organic essential oils and organic oils. Okay, good information to know. So. And there's more information as well, including deodorants, that you can be aware of chemicals to watch there. And we have all of that information on our website. And on your website, you have a special, a special opportunity for people to really see what's in the products they're putting on their bodies, yes. correct? Yes, I have a chemical database where if you have a question about a chemical in a product, you can go to my website and look it up in my chemical database. And if you have a specific question about an ingredient, I always invite my customers to email me at stephanie at bubbleandbee.com. And all of our products are chemical free. You you can find them on our website, bubbleandbee.com, and we're actually going to be in Whole Foods in about six weeks. All of the Wild Oats stores have turned into Whole Foods stores. Oh, that's great. So um, we'll be in all four stores in uh, the next six weeks. Okay, so look for Bubble and Bee products, and of course, good information just to know about your products in general. As long as you know what you're putting in your body, that's first. That's half the battle right mm -hmm. there, the start. So you can get more information on Bubble and Bee out on our website, studio5.ksl.com. A couple of products we weren't able to highlight today, but all of the information is listed there. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you.